Are we good? We're good. He says we're good. He gave me the little head nod, so I guess that means we're live. Good morning, my friends. Welcome to Crafting Corner with Stephanie. I'm Stephanie Bernard uh, from The Stamps of Life. Um, I actually don't think I said hello, my friends. So hello, my friends. I'm really excited to be here. Actually, the funny thing is, is we literally were taping a video for something else and we had like six minutes to f change microphones, change cameras, change everything, change computer systems, change everything, and boom. Here we are. I'm always amazed that Ken can get this done every single time. It's so awesome. And to think that because of technology, I can be talking to you. I mean, I can see your chats. Hi, Alfie. Good morning. Hi, Russ. Hi, Lorraine. Hi, Vicki. Hi, Glamper Girl. Hi, Pam Olson. Um, let's see. Hi, Kisser. Hi, Tracy. Hi, Shelly from the Florida Panhandle. Hello. Hi, Reagan. Hello. Good morning. Hi, Betty. Um, in sunny North Carolina, lucky you, it is overcast here in California, and they said we are going to have a heat wave this week. I think they messed up. I don't know. I if if I need to come back and do another uh, another uh, job, I think I'd pick weather forecaster because I feel like they're always wrong. <laughs> um, hi Diane. Hi Deborah. Hi Carol. Good morning, Gloria. Hi Kisser. Hi uh, Margaret and Diane. Double Diane. Hi Sherry. Hi Jacqueline. Um, let's see. Uh, uh, Cynthia says, is the Stephanie buddy bag the only one that will fit the ink pads? No, there are others. They just were, the Stephanie bag was designed for our ink pad size. Um, there's others, like you could fit them in different ones, but because of the way they stack, you probably want to get the Stephanie bag because you don't want them to sit on their sides because the ink will eventually leak and you certainly don't want that. Um, you never want that. Um, hi, Linda in Iowa. Hi, Beth in Pennsylvania. Hi, uh, Ruth in New Jersey. Oh, Deidre is here from New Zealand. Good morning. Jill says it's going to be 107 where she is today. Woo! That's warm. That is warm. Um, hi, Karen in Pennsylvania. Hi, Yvette. She says it's burning here down in Arizona. Spe hi, Kay. So actually, speaking of Arizona, I literally, in between those six minutes that I had, to change videos I went and checked my emails and uh, Tiffany said that she showed off something new kind of that she's in the works on and she said a lot of our customers said they wanted them uh, because a lot of our customers love to watch Tiffany as well because you know she is awesome <laughs> oh she's so beautiful I love her so much and uh, she said that she's gonna bring some new items she's coming at the end of this month and she's gonna stay for a couple nights. And uh, she probably, because Arizona is too hot to, for me to go visit, so she wants to come here, it's a little cooler. And she's gonna bring me some new products and we're gonna test and check and see. And she said um, one of them is really perfect for our calendar pieces, which I'm really excited about. Oh, I finished, speaking of uh, decor, I finished my uh, tiered tray. I don't know, I, it's not good for me to move it because everything will start falling. But the two that I'm most, proud of and you can see these on our home decor Instagram I think we also put them on the on the stamps of life Instagram but there's my cool little my oh, no pun intended my cool little sunglasses now these actually have little stripes on them but I painted them black because I want it to really look like sunglasses and I love the color theme I picked I just found a, a, a pattern paper pad that had the similar colors and then those are the colors that I use but look at that hello summer isn't that fun I love that. And then there's more. So here's my cute little popsicle. And of course it does match our card fold its, which is fun. And then here is my little pineapple. Lovely shot of me when I'm just moving around. And then here is, it, it came with the letter sun, but it did not come with the letter tray because the letter tray you would already have in your May kit. So I was able to sneak in those three extra letters because you already had the um, the tray from the May. So then I was able to sneak in those three extra letters without actual additional cost. And I was able to sneak in these three little cute um, tags. So I put mine sun here with my cute little sun tag. You could add these tags separately. There's also one that I don't know where it is right this second, but it has cute little um, sunglasses. So I was able to sneak those in for the same price, even though technically it's kind of two extra items, but I was able to sneak them in and I love that cute little sun. So make sure you go check that out. It's actually still on flash sale because it's a newer item. It's a newer um, product code. So it's still on flash sale, which is really good. Um, let me see. Hi, Nancy in Arkansas. Uh, 
Um, is the small soon? Yes, Beth. It is. Uh, the new Eleanor says, please like, subscribe. Yes, most definitely. If you're on YouTube, please make sure you click that subscribe button. If you click that subscribe button and the little bell that is like a little notification, it will send you an email or a little text or something letting you know when we go live, which is really awesome because Kenny and I have a special um, dinner meeting tonight and we are going to be talking about the new segments. Remember, I kind of hinted about those a couple months ago and we've been in, they've been in the works for a long time. We're just finalizing the names, the titles. I kind of talked about that on Monday. Um, we're working on um, finalizing the names and then they're pretty much going to go, they're going to really officially start in July. I think we have one that's going to sneak in in the next week or so, but eventually we're going to go live on a lot more videos and we're going to have a lot more segments involved as well. The goal is to do three lives a week, which, whoa, I know, I'm excited. Uh, now, speaking of all those lives, how do you keep track of everything? Kenny, can you pull up on the computer our events calendar? We have a new events calendar on our website. I bet you a lot of you didn't know that. On our website, Kenny's going to pull up the website, and on the website, on the, actually, can you start at the homepage so they can start, see, they can see you where you're clicking and everything. So he's going to start on the homepage. And he's going to flip that over so you can see it. So there's our homepage. And scroll down so they can see the markers and everything because we do have new items on our website that we're going to talk about. They're very limited, but we do have some flash sale items. The markers are on flash sale. We're going to talk about those in a minute. Uh, we have the ink pad you're going to need. We have the paper pad. And we have the new Sara bag, which is exciting. So Ken's going to go ahead and scroll up to the top. And he's going to click on the events tab up there at the top. And kind of see how, see right there where it is? It's the events tab. He's going to click on that. And then you are going to see, sorry, it's my hair hitting the mic. I'm going to have to wear a ponytail, I think. Um, so then you are going to see an events calendar. There on the events calendar. So the yellow is means today. And then you're going to see all of the events, the all of the items. You're going to see the release days. You're going to see the No Makeup Mondays. And when we start adding those other items to that calendar, you're going to be able to see those. Now, I think there's a way on there for you to click for notifications. You might have to click on each item and then you'll see the notifications. But it's really awesome. You're going to love it. Make sure you always check out that events page because anytime we do something, we're going to make sure it's on the events page. Um, Pamela says, do you know when the July calendar will be on your website? It is going to be on the website probably this afternoon. It literally got, sh it's in Utah and they're just waiting for it to get to the warehouse to count them. But I'm thinking this afternoon we will have the July calendar on the website. Um, Sarah said, I ordered the markers and I used my club points. Genius. Save some money. Isn't that awesome? Those club points are amazing. And it's amazing how quickly they add up too, which is awesome. Lou Jean says, I love the new events calendar. Thank you. Jan says the calendar is great. Thank you. I'm really excited about that. Actually, guess who did it? I actually did it. Well, I didn't embed the code on the website, but I um, figured out that we could put a Google calendar on our website. And uh, now it's like awesome because now you'll kind of know what's going on, right? And it's anything stamps related stamps or stamps of life related and again we're going to be adding those new video segments on there as well so it's going to be really exciting um let's see everybody's loving the new calendar awesome Let's show that picture. oh okay oh kenny wants me to show this picture if you follow me on instagram on my personal account on my personal account on instagram um i just have personal stuff right now of course you're welcome to it's not private so you can see it you can you can go follow it or whatever it's not private but um i post personal pictures and we had one at um at at the beach the other day not a couple, what is it last week actually i think it was last week and the thing with um so liam and miller are my twin babies and grandkids and liam whenever he loves whenever he loves something he puts his head on it. So like you say, show love, show love. And he'll like have a dolly or something. And he'll go like this and he'll he'll put his head on it because he wants you to sh he show you love. So if you say, can I have some love? He'll put his head on you and he just like lays on you. And it's the sweetest thing in the world. Well, 
let me show you this photo. Go ahead and do the overhead and then let me show you this photo and then I'll talk about it. So this is Liam at the beach. If you saw my personal Instagram, you've already seen this, but you can see the sand on his face and he is happy as can be. Happy as can be. Now, why on earth does that baby boy have sand all over his face? Because we were at the beach and I said, do you love the beach? Do you love the beach? And he laid his head down, actually face down onto the sand to show me that he loves the beach. And he came up and there was sand all over his face because it was sticking to his uh, sunscreen. And it was the cutest thing. And we're like, ah, you have sand all over you. And Kirsten was able to get a quick picture and it was the most adorable thing. If you need to see it again, you can go to my personal Instagram, it's there. And Kirsten did give me permission to share it because it was absolutely positively too adorable. So that's my baby. Um, that's Liam. Uh, Miller is the blondie and we didn't get a picture of him that day so whatever um, let's see um, some of the um, a lot of the um, exclusive calendars I saw a question about the exclusive calendars um, once they're out of stock they're gone forever we are not um, reordering those we will carry the foundations decor items um, for the calendar uh, probably as long as they keep them in stock and some of those are coming back in stock or should be back in stock already but the exclusive calendars once they're gone they're gone they're limited edition um we can't, the minimum orders are too large we can't reorder them so it's it's a one and done kind of thing so if you like the june calendar go get it asap because once it's gone it is gone okay let's see everybody seems so cute so cute i know my baby is so cute <laughs> thank you <laughs> thank you Joni. thank you jan uh so let's see any other things um i need to discuss before i'm gonna have to start wearing a ponytail huh um before i jump into what i want to other talk about no i'll just go for that is it not is it on not right now oh well turn it on they want to say hi to you I have some stuff to talk about. what I'll figure You'll figure out some stuff to talk about. Okay. Uh, so this morning, we quietly released uh, the markers. Now, let me back up a little tiny bit and talk about markers for a second. Back in the day, when alcohol markers started becoming really popular, uh, there was a company that was the most popular, and um, they are like $6 a marker. And I went to um, a certification class. I actually have a little certificate. Actually, I think I have two. And it was an eight hour class and they taught you how to color with their system. And I didn't get it. I didn't understand it, but I started to collect the markers. I did the certification class again, another eight hours because I really wanted to understand it. And when I left the second time, I know their markers are awesome. Alcohol markers are amazing. Don't get me wrong. My brain just doesn't understand them. My brain doesn't understand and the coloring that people do, amazing, right? Amazing. But my brain doesn't understand that you need three blue markers to color that balloon, but you have to have the right three blue markers. You can't have a blue from this blue mark color family it has to be from the same three color blue family but it does it's not just numbered one two three it could be numbered 47 16 and 72 and you can't use the blue marker family over here it has to be the blue marker family over here and so I was buying markers and buying markers and I had invested don't tell Ken but I invested close to five to six hundred dollars in these markers and I still couldn't color that blue balloon and I was just getting so frustrated. I just said, you know what? Forget it. And I, since then, it's been over 10 years, I've just focused on using my water brush and our markers, putting my markers on acetate, and you can go see the video for it. And I use my water brushes, and I pick up the ink, and I watercolor my images. Now, I'm not going to stop doing that because there's always a time to do that, right? When you're a little bit more in a hurry, but you want the beautiful effect. Fast forward to, what, two months ago. I'm on the phone with the president at Crafters Companion in the United States. And he's telling me, Stephanie, I want you to check out our markers. I'm like, no, I don't do markers. I don't do alcohol markers. I have watercolor markers. I'm good. I don't do alcohol markers. And he's like, no, I think you need to look at these. And I told him my whole story. And I said, you know what? You don't get it. I don't want to promote or use $15, mar $15 worth of one color marker 
because I can't do it. I don't like the effect. I don't like, I can't do it right. I don't feel confident. And he's like, Stephanie, I'm going to send you these markers. I want you to try them. So he sent me these markers and I, they sat on my floor in my office here for a long time next to my desk. And I was afraid. I was intimidated. I was scared. And then one day I got them out and they sent me an ink pad and, uh, I inked something and let actually Kenny let's show the overhead on this one so they can see the first thing I ever colored so the first thing I ever colored on our cardstock by the way this is on our cards our white cardstock because I didn't have their cardstock this is the first one I ever colored in my life and look at that pink you guys isn't that gorgeous look at the green look at the pink I love it now this is the second one I colored look at that isn't that absolutely amazing? Now, this is coming from someone that does not like to color. But look how gorgeous that is. Okay? Look at how gorgeous that is. Now, there are coloring rules. Okay? There are coloring rules. It's all about the light. It's all about where the light's hitting it. If the light's coming from over here, you want to shade over here and be lighter over here. Okay. I'm not playing that game. Okay, I'm playing the game that I want it to be good, right? I want it to be happy to me. I'm not going to send this to a coloring expert and say, did I do this right? Okay, let's flip the camera. Did I do this right? Did I color it right? Did I shade it right? I just want it to look good to me. And to me, these look amazing. There's different colors in there. There's a gradient, meaning it goes from dark to light. And it was easy. Let me say that again. It was easy. I did not have to guess, is this blue in the same color family as this blue? I don't know. Is it lighter or darker? I don't know. No. Why is it easy? And let me show you. And I have some sneak peeks coming up to you guys. Why is it easy? Well, oh, of course I picked pink, right? Okay. Why is it easy? Because, and now I guess we'll have to do overhead again. Sorry, babe. Why is it easy? Because in these markers, they're called tri-blends, they're by Spectrum Noir, Sara has done an amazing job with her team at Crafters Companion. They have invested trillions of dollars. Now, of course, that's not true. But they've invested so much time and energy and money into creating the perfect marker, and they've done an amazing job. They've done an amazing job. Yes, is she my competitor? Absolutely. But you know what? She's also my friend. This is amazing. This is amazing. So this is why I brought them in. Why? Let me show you. There are three markers here. I'm holding one marker, but there are three. There is a dark, there is a mid-tone, and then there is a light. So I have three markers in one pen. No guessing, no questioning, no wondering, am I doing the right color? Is this the same color family? Is this light? Is this dark? What am I doing? What am I doing? No, no, no. They've done all that for you. And it says on the marker, this is the light one. It says on the marker, this is the dark one. Right there. And then this is the mid-tone. So you know all of these go together. Now, they have other markers. Don't get me wrong. They have others that are singles. I'm not playing that game because these are all done for me. I want to do the cheat sheet way. This is the cliff notes of how to color. Look at that. It's all there. All three of them are right there. Now, there are two sets. They come in these boxes. Let me show you the boxes. Oh, wait. I thought I had the boxes. Oh, here they are. They come in boxes. Now, you can buy them separately from other people individually. You can. And I totally go for it if you want to. I'm only selling them in the kits because what do you can do with one marker, right? You need a set of markers. But, so this comes with 24 of these times three. What is that? 72, right? 72, am I right? 72? What was it? 24, 24 times three? Yes. 72 colors in one box. 72 colors in one box. We have these on flash sale also, my friends. Just a heads up. 72 colors in this box. If for some reason you manage to get two, which is pretty amazing, you're having, you have 144 colors all figured out for you. I'm going to look at your chat in just a minute, you guys, if you have any questions. A lot of people are saying these are awesome markers. I already have them. You're right. I know. I know. I'm a little late to the game, I'll be honest, because I was so afraid of it. This is for the people like me 
that were so intimidated by those artists out there. I just want, I'm a stamper that wants to color, right? I'm a stamper that wants to color. Crafters Companion Spectrum Noir has come out with that. We just get to color. We don't have to do the color game. We don't have to figure it out. Now, another fun thing about these markers is it does have the code on here. So it will say this one, well, this one is called Pink Violet Blend, okay? It will say PV2. It will say PV3 and PV4. So if you have the other single markers, you can coordinate with those as well. Yeah, that's too much for me. One marker, I have all my pink violet colors right here. Awesome, awesome. Kenny, are you seeing questions that you can start answering a little bit for, or blowing out for me, yelling out for me so I can see? Let me check. Okay, Kenny's gonna check your questions so I can hopefully answer them because they're, they're going kind of fast. Um, oh, Gail says she's jumping in real quick for a sneak peek. I mean, a quick peek, she's teaching summer school right now. Are the markers refillable? Yes, they are. Will we be carrying the refills? Probably not. Probably not. How many are in the entire collection? Do you know? The entire collection of these two is 144 colors. 144 colors. Now, my markers, obviously, they I haven't had any issues yet with them re having to refill them. You're going to store these. Big, big thing. You're going to store these flat. Right? You're not going to store them like this because these will dry up. You're not going to store it like this because it'll dry up. You're going to store them flat, completely flat. Um, Laura says, I just bought both sets and the marker pad too. Now I get to use them. Okay, yes, I'm going to show you how to use them. And don't forget, I'm doing the Cliff Notes version. I'm sure there's a billion in-depth videos you can watch on these, but I'm showing you the Stephanie Bernard version, okay? That's what we're gonna talk about in the coloring here today. And of course, you're gonna be seeing me a lot more coloring. The cool thing is, is it's so funny, I haven't been able to share this really much yet, and I literally have stamped so many things. I'm gonna show you all some sneaks, and I'm gonna show you all of these, and I literally will stamp a whole bunch, and then I will take them into the other room and watch TV and color while I'm watching TV. Because I like, I always like to be busy. I always like, even when I'm designing, I have the TV on or I have the radio on. I have to have extra things stimulating my mind. So I've been coloring like crazy and I have fallen in love with it. Now, I'll be honest with you. I did not want to like these markers. I didn't. I didn't. Why? Why? I, I mean, I love the water coloring with the water brush. Why bother, right? And then I started playing with them and how easy they were. Now again, don't forget, I'm not going to be worried about where the light source is coming from. I'm going to color to make myself happy. Big difference, right? I'm going to color to make myself happy. Am I breaking rules? Probably! But as long as it looks good to me, I don't care what anybody else says. <laughs> and you know what? These markers are going to do it for you. They really are. Okay, so... I'm not sure about this question, but what are the differences in the kits? Are they all oh, totally different colors? Yeah, or good question. Oh, that's an awesome Let's question. Try. Okay, why don't you do the overhead? Because it'll show it. Okay. Good question. Okay, so, and I, let me try to zoom in a little bit. There you go. They are different. The kits are different. One is called Deep Blends. One is called Essential Blends. Now, if you're only going to get one, I'd probably get the Essential. I'd probably get the Essential because it has the, this is the Essential. It has brighter colors. It's going to have your brighter colors. The Deep Blends are going to be more of your jewel tones. Okay, now... I can't show you what's in what because I mixed all my markers up, so they're all in together in a, in a box. I'm sure it says on our website which ones come in which. If you're going to start with one, I'd probably get the Essentials because it has more of the, well, but then there's a lot of pinks down here. Oh, gosh. Yeah, the website lists all the colors. Oh, the website does list all the colors. Oh, my gosh. Dina and Amy are amazing. They list all the colors. But let me just tell you, do we have more than one picture on there at least? I'm hoping. Just one picture, bummer. Okay, but these colors are them. Let me kind of hold this up for a second. These are the colors. Kind of just don't don't worry about the color names. Just kind of look at which one do you like. This is the top one is the essential. The bottom is the deep blends. Deep blends. Yes, um, Jacqueline says I already bought these and it has an instruction sheet that's pretty easy to follow. Absolutely, they're very very easy. So there's 24 in each set. How much are they? Regular price is 119. Can you pull up the prices so I can see them? Regular price is 119. They are for one box. They are 72 colors, don't forget. Now, 72 colors times $5 if you were buying the other brand. 
How much is 72 times 5? 360. 360. 360. So right away, this is 119. We have it on flash for 99. Gold Club members are paying how much? 7920. 7920. 7920 versus 360. Wow. Big difference. Big difference. Big difference. Club members, how much are they paying? 8415. 8415. Awesome. They are on flash. We don't have very many of these. I'm just telling you. Because I didn't know. I didn't know if some of you already had them. I didn't know if a lot of you are still going to want them. I didn't know if you're all just going to say Stephanie's nuts for coloring because she said for 12 years she wasn't going to color. It's true. It's all true. It's all true. It's all true. Okay. Any other questions you see there, baby, before I keep going? No, not right now. Okay. But I'll scan through Ken, this Ken's trying to watch all the questions. Um, let's see. Uh, of course, you're getting the club discount, club members, and you're also getting the, um, oh, Deborah says the other brand is $7 a marker where I live. <laughs> Seven times 144, Kenny? A lot. A lot. <laughs> He's not even going to do About a thousand, that. somewhere around a thousand. Oh my gosh. You guys, you guys. Spectrum Noir made a home run. Made a home run. Now, a couple other things real quick. There is a Sara bag named after the founder of Crafter's Companion, the most adorable girl I've ever met. And there's a Sara bag that holds 24. So if you get both, it holds a box. It holds a whole box of markers. If, and of course it's a totally Tiffany bag. Um, if, and we have it on the website, if you um, get two boxes, you'll probably want two of these. There's other another option. So perfect. You can open it up. And you can even lay it kind of like that if you want to. Or I, I mean, ideally, I would just lay it flat. It is stair stepped. I have my stair step in the wrong, but it's I have it backwards. But it is stair stepped, so you can see them. Oh, they can't see it. Awesome. There. Oh, perfect, perfect. So you can see them. They're, they're here. Let me show you. You can see how they one sticks out further than the other. You know, there's three stairs in there. Tiff's awesome. So you can see them all. Great, right? Well, before I got the Sara bag, because the Sara bag is fairly new. Before I got the Sara bag. I was putting them in my paper taker. There's my paper taker. And I fit all, both boxes in my paper taker. And so they're all in here and I just kind of move them around. And they're all in here and I can add both boxes in there. So I have not decided, I wouldn't worry about keeping the essential blends away from the deep blends. No, no, just mix them, it doesn't matter. No, that doesn't matter. That's just how they sell them. You get to decide how you want to store them. Um, I kind of, I mean, I like both systems, so I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna say one is better than the other. If you travel a lot, they're both good. Um, I like them because I can find them. Also, another thing, um, somebody had mentioned that they have shelves. They said, I never travel, I want the little shelves. They're sending me a sample of those shelves as well. Um, so we'll see if I like it on my desk. I don't know, I really like to be able to carry them because, you know what I do? is this is my office upstairs i like to take them downstairs and work and color right i like to take my coloring elsewhere elsewhere now another fun thing that this is a sneak peek i'm going to tell you about this is a brand new bag called the nancy bag oh real quick the bag you just showed is that going to come in pink the sara bag probably yes. not okay. probably not the Nancy bag, this is the Nancy bag, it's brand new. We will have it in black. It's brand new. It is meant to color, it is meant to carry your coloring supplies. What do I mean by that? Not your markers, because your markers already have a bag, right? But it's gonna carry your rotating design board, which, hello my friends, you will need one for this. I have two. I have one for my coloring, one for my Gemini machine. That is down because I was doing other videos. Okay, but I use my rotating design board. I will show you that in a minute. But I was thinking it, we could use it for a diaper bag too when the boys come over. Oh, that's actually good. <laughs> I know. <laughs> that's actually really bad. I'll have to get another one. There's pockets in here too, Kenny. We could put their snacks in one side. It doesn't have to just be crafting. No, it does not. No, Tiffany always says you guys don't use my stuff just for crafting. Okay, so it fits my rotating design board. It fits my secret weapon because I got a stamp. And it also fits dun, 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 Spectrum Noir paper. So that's going to be our next question. What cardstock do I use? Well, when I first started, 
I used our powdered sugar cardstock. I did. It's the cheapest. I did. It works fine. You saw my samples. It works fine, right? But I found out they had paper and I know they have an ink pad. I wanted the whole system because they've spent the time, they've spent the money, they've spent the resources to make sure their paper cardstock works perfectly with their markers, their ink pad works perfectly with their markers and their paper cardstock. Okay? I feel like I want to offer all of it. Now, can you use our powdered sugar? Of course you can. Of course you can. Do you want the exact cardstock they recommend? You might. That's up to you. This paper is a little bit bigger. It's 9 by 12 as opposed to powdered sugar, which is 8.5 by 11. It's a little bigger, and it comes in a pad of 30. That's optional for you, right? That's up to you. I could use either one because I'm coloring for myself. I'm not coloring for the artists out there, right? I'm coloring for myself. And I want you to color for yourself too. I don't want you to be like I was 10 years ago saying, this isn't right, this isn't right. I, the sun is coming from a different area. As long as it looks good, who cares? Who cares, right? We're gonna have fun. It's all about having fun. So, okay, so my pad fits in here. And wait, how many pockets are in here? Oh my gosh, there's a pocket here. Okay, this is not on the website. The, this Nancy bag, I've already ordered it. It's not on the website yet. But there's a pocket back here, a pocket in the front, I mean on this side, and then a pocket. This is, would be a good diaper bag. And a pocket here. So this is going to hold my special pad. And it's also going to hold an ink block or two. Or two. And it also, well, that one block's too big, but we can put this one. So there. It snaps. Okay, and I have my pad, I have my secret weapon, and I have my rotating design board. This is coming soon. It's called the Nancy. Okay, so let's go back to our markers. I just wanted to show you that because I knew I'd forget. So I'm getting everything out. Then you can carry your markers and your bag, and you can go anywhere in your home and color, or on the road. On the road again. Okay, so let's get back into this. I do recommend their ink pad. Could you use the Forever Black? Yes, you could. Is it gonna give you the best results? No, it won't. It wasn't chemically designed to go together. These were chemically designed to go together. I do recommend getting this. Um, they do sell refills of this. We don't have the refills. We're gonna to have to figure out the refills on this. Is that oh. ink refill? Somebody's asking about ink refills. Do these refill or not? These, these, they do sell refills, but I don't think we're gonna carry them. But I haven't had one, I haven't had one um, dry up yet. So, um, you know, I haven't had one dry up yet, but we need to think, write down the um, ink, we need to see if they have refills for the ink pads. I don't know if they do. Okay, so here we go. I'm gonna show you what I did and how I did it, and I'm gonna show you some samples. Why don't you do the overhead, babe? We're gonna actually get down to the nitty gritty. Now, this was the first one I ever did. This is on powdered sugar, okay? This is on powdered sugar, and I do use the rotating design board, and I'm going to move it just like this. I like to move it around. See, this is what you're going to do. This is why she originally designed the rotating design board. Do you have to use the clip? No, you don't. But I like to because I like to make sure my paper is not going to go anywhere, my cardstock. One tip right off the bat, you want to have extra cardstock behind you. So see, the markers are going to go through. That is supposed to happen. So see the back? I don't have very much on this one because this is the first time I ever did it. But on the back of this one, I did a much better job and you can see the back. This is actually on their cardstock, so this cardstock you can tell is better. Okay, so here I have, I have powdered sugar behind me, I have my card, my stuff here, I'm going to put this right there so it holds it, so look, now I can move it, actually it kind of gets stuck there. Okay, but there it is, and now what I'm going to do, I've already stamped it, right, I've stamped it, and I'm going to get my colors out. Now, I get to decide, actually let's have them vote, what color should the petals be? Let them vote what color the petals be. Do you want it? Now, they have their own color, so just say, do you want it to be pink, purple, orange, yellow, whatever. So I'm going to get, so you guys vote on what color you want the petals to be. I'm going to work on the green. Now, I have lots of green options, so I'm going to pull out a couple green options to show you. You're going to pick a winner on this? Yes, I yes. will pick a winner, and we'll have a raffle. Yes. Yes, yes, yes. So I'm pulling some greens out so I can see what colors I want to do. And I really like this bright one. I like brights. You know me. I like brights. 
So I'm going to use this one. This one reminds me of Kiwi. So I'm going to use this one now. I have light, medium, and dark, right? Actually, I could even do it like this so you can see them all. Look at that. Light, medium, and dark. Okay, I'm going to go a little slower now because I know I get wound up and get excited, but I want you to really understand this. Okay, light, medium, dark. Now, the stem is not a good example on how to do this because it's not a very large item, but what you're going to do is you're first going to color it in light. Now, these are bullet tip. I prefer the bullet tip. They do have a brush tip. We are carrying the bullet tip because I feel like our products really require the bullet tip. So I am going to just color this, la la la, color, color. This is the light, doing the light first, right? Light first, getting my base coat down. That's what I'm doing, I'm just getting the base coat down. La 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 la, okay? Here we got my, and you'll notice you don't have like any like extra colors like once it covers itself it really covers itself but you really want to soak that paper the important part is getting the paper soaked because then the colors will blend better okay that's why their paper is better but we'll do it on ours just so you can see okay so there it is that's the light now what I'm gonna do I wish you could zoom in more is there a way you could zoom in more on this uh, I can try let's let's have Kenny try real quick I, I really this is really important for you guys to see the zooming in. So he's going to try to zoom in a little bit more. He's got to stand on his tippy toes because it's way up high. Let's see. And I can move my pad anywhere I need to. Move the wrong way. Is that the furthest? More? A little bit. Oh, that's awesome. Look at that. Look at that. Okay. Okay. Thank you, babe. Okay. So they're still voting on what color my, um, my flower is going to be. Keep going, guys. Okay, so there I have my green. That was the light. Now I'm going to move to the dark. And this is going to be like my shadows, right? Well, I want my shadows to be like pretty much around this piece here, the center. Okay, and I'm just going to add some center right there. And I would think there should be a little bit of dark over by the stem. And just for fun, I'm going to do some a little dark down here at the bottom. Okay, remember, this is yours. You get to do whatever you want. So that's the dark. Okay, whoops, sorry. I used the dark for that. Now I'm gonna go to the mid-tone and I'm gonna color over that dark and go a little bit in further. So I'm gonna color over the dark and go a little bit further than the dark was, okay? I'm coloring over the dark and going a little further than the dark was. So see how it's much larger over here than it was over here in the color? So I'm blending that dark ink and I'm also adding mid-tone ink, right? So I'm blending that little spot there, and I'm going further. Blending that and going further. Okay, there. Okay, now what I'm gonna do, don't you love how the rotating design board, I can move it around as I need to? Now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go back to the light. Remember I did the light first, and I'm gonna go back to the light, and I'm going to go over that mid-tone. See how there's, you can see a major line? You don't wanna see that major line of color. You don't wanna see how it went from dark, medium, light. You want it, that to gradiate. You want it to be like, right, like look at this pink one. You want it to be like, you can't tell where the color ends and the color begins. It just looks gorgeous, right? You don't see an obvious part of the, it's gorge, you know, of it's changing the color. You want it to be like the, like the purple heart. And eh, I didn't blend that as well, right? Cause you can really see the dark. You want it to blend. The whole idea is to blend. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm taking the light and I'm gonna go over, and you can go over all of it if you want or you can go over just that little part. And you're gonna color again all the way. Just like that. Now, you can tell it's darker in these two spots, but you really can't see a line, right? You can't see a line where one color starts and one stops. Okay, again, I'm gonna color over this. I'm blending that line so you don't see that edge of the other color. You don't see the edge, but you do see a difference in color. You guys, are you freaking out yet? Because I'm freaking out already. Look at that. You can tell the center is darker, but you don't see the edge of the color. It's just gorgeous, right? Okay, let's do this one. Again, I'm gonna turn my board a little and I'm gonna color over that. Again, this is the Stephanie Bernard version. You can see other videos online of other people doing this, but let me just show you, this is the easiest way to do it. 
Look at that. Again, darker in the center, but it goes lighter. But where's the edge? You don't see the edge of the color. That is the miraculous part of these markers. No guesswork. No wondering, oh, does this color go with this color family? Does this one go with this one? Look at that. Look at that. Isn't that gorgeous? Okay. Yes, Bonnie, these markers are on the website. Yes, they are. And don't worry, you guys, this is going to be videotaped so you can see it later. Okay, Kenny, did you pick a color um, winner so I can move on? Yeah, the colors are pretty even between yellow and purple. Oh, okay. Let me pull purple. I'll do yellow on the inside and purple on the outside. How's that? Now, you got to pick a winner, babe. Our winner is from YouTube, and she said bright yellow. I don't bright know if we yellow. have a difference. Bright yellow. Okay. yellow. And it's Christy McCain. Christy McCain. Huh. Tell her what she has to do. Christy, you need to email the office. That's the info, right? Yep. Info at thestampsoflife.com, and let us know you're the winner and your guess, and then you will receive a... $25 gift certificate to the website. All right. Okay, H FYI, the hardest part about these markers is taking all the cellophane off of each one. Okay, because you do have to take the, they're tightly wrapped for shipping. Okay, so I have my purples, and I'm like, okay, well, this one's really too pink, so we don't want that one. And oh, also, when I'm coloring, I leave off to the side the one I just used, because I like to keep it separate in case I decide to go back and redo it. Some people write the numbers over here, so like if I wanted to, I could write this is LG. LG blend so I would know if I wanted to go back to do more on that one. You could do that also. So I'm going to pick the purple and I'm going to pick ooh, this one. So this one is the lavender blend. Again, I have my light, medium, dark. I'm going to color the petals now. I'm going to bring that down and I'm going to color again. Remember, we're going to just color first all the light to get some ink down. This is our foundation. We're going to get our ink down and look how it goes perfect with this, this uh, ink pad. You don't have to worry about it. You can go over the black. It's not going to bleed. You're not going to have any worries. Look, I'm coloring right over the black. Look at that. You don't have to worry about it bleeding because it was designed to go with it, you guys. You don't... I, I hope you can hear my excitement because this is all honestly true. I hated coloring until these markers. I didn't feel comfortable with it. I didn't feel confident in it. I didn't feel anything. And now I know I can be an amazing colorist just by using these markers. Look at this, you guys. I'm just is that going, a word? Colorist? Colorist? I think actually it is because when okay. I get my hair done, they always say, oh, know. that's the colorist. Hmm. I think it is, babe. Okay. Yeah, you learn something new every day, huh? <laughs> Kenny said he's going to take me to dinner tonight. I'm very excited. Our anniversary is coming up. Our 31st anniversary is coming up on the 23rd. We should have that on the events calendar, huh, baby? That's amazing. That's amazing. I know we haven't hurt each other yet. <laughs> We're both still alive. We're both still alive. I know. True that. Can you believe it's been a week since we went to Olive Garden with the boys? Shut up. A week. Has it really? I can't believe that. Okay, Where I'm filling that in, go? getting lots of ink on there, right? You want lots of ink. I can't believe that. Really? Okay, so now I have my, my, my lightest color, right? Oh, we start with the lightest. Now we're going to go in with the dark. And I'm going to go around my circle. I'm just going to go around my circle. Now look, oh, whoops, I went a little too far. Don't worry about it. That's all good. Watch this. I'm going to go around it again. Look at that. Fill it in. It's fine. It's fine. I'm going to go around my circle, around and around and around. My dog's looking at me funny. I don't know why. Okay, I'm going to go around my circle a little bit more because I want it to be nice and dark. Okay. There we go. Now look, you're like, ew, look at that. That looks horrible. I can see the line. I can see the line. The goal is not to see that line, right? The goal is not to see that edge. Call it a line. It's an edge. So now I'm going to take my mid-tone, right? My mid-tone. And I am using the lavender blend. So I'm just going to put LB for lavender blend. And now this is the mid-tone. And now I'm going to kind of just color over that edge. Color over that edge. And I'm going a little further, right? I'm coloring over that edge, and then I'm going a little further. And I'm going to do it again. Because I want, my goal is to get rid of, now you can go in circles, you can go in lines. It doesn't matter. You do you. Everybody's going to have their own way to do it. You do you. You're going to watch videos online, and people are all going to say, you have to do it this way. You don't have to do anything. They're not your mother. They can, you can do it any way you want. Okay. Now... 
you can see, you can't tell the difference between the edge of the dark and the light. I mean, dark and medium, right? But whoa, we see an edge there. Well, now I'm going to come in with my light. I'm coming in with my light. And now I'm going to color over that, that edge. Color over that edge. Color over the edge. Dun, 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 dun. Father's Day's coming up, baby. Okay, color. We're partying next week. I Brian. know. We're next going to week. Brandon and Marcellus. Going swimming. The babies are doing swimming lessons. Oh, gosh. Well, Kirsten and Stephanie are doing swimming lessons. The babies are being held in the pool and not happy about it. Okay, so now I'm going to go in and I'm going to color each petal over completely. Each petal over completely. And we're going to go around. Again, the more ink you have on there, the more the ink will blend. So don't worry about, oh, I don't want to put more ink on it because I don't want it to be darker. That's okay because you're going to get the blending ink better if you have more ink on it, okay? Now, this is on our powdered sugar cardstock. Imagine what it's going to look like on their cardstock, right? That was designed for these markers. Okay, so we're going around and around. Now, you can see why I like to do this while I'm watching TV. It's very relaxing, it's very easy, and you just get to have fun with it. You don't have to worry, you don't have to, you don't have to figure it out, you just get to play. And you can talk while you're doing it, which is cool. Okay, so now I'm filling in. See, I can kind of see an edge, so I'm just going to go over that edge again. If you see an edge, you just go over it again, right? Oh, I see an edge right there, so just go over. Now, my friends, you saw how easy this was, right? Look at that. Make sure you don't have any edges. Look at that. Where's the edge? I, oh, and as it dries for another second, you won't, it'll even look better. So give it a second to dry. Like I see an edge right there, so I'm going to go over that edge a little bit more. But look at that. It's a gradient. It goes from dark to light. You guys, are you like crying in your, I'm, I'm, I, my socks are knocked off. Let me just tell you that. Uh, Lisa says, and what's nice is it continues to blend as it dries. Absolutely, absolutely. Um, are we going to carry the, um, carry the Spe Spectrum Noir cardstock? Yes, it's on our website already. It's already on the website. How long will this flash sale go? Um, until it sells out, I don't know how, we don't have very many of these because I honestly didn't know. Um, so as long as they're in stock, they'll, they'll be on flash sale. But we don't have very many. We don't have very many. Okay, so there's my purple. Let's go back to the overhead bit. And what was the other color people said? Yellow? Yes. Okay, so let's pull a yellow out. And I'm getting this yellow because it's nice and bright. And this is the citrus blend. So again, just for fun, I'm just going to put CB because that's what everybody online does. So I just put that down there just so I can see it. And now I'm going to do the center of the heart. I'm sorry, the center of the flower. So again, start with the light. And I have some sneak peeks to show you guys in just a minute. If you're not into coloring, I still have some sneak peeks to share with you. Okay, okay. now, if you're not into coloring, I get it. I understand. That's fine. You're all good. You can use the watercolor brushes still, and that can be you. You know what I mean? I'm just showing you something that amazingly I actually like because I am not a colorer. Okay. Are so there I, some calendar kits coming on the website today that they can combine with this? Yeah, uh, the July is supposed to be on there. Actually, if you can go make it live, you can go make it live right now. Can you enable it on the website? Do you know how? Okay, so now I'm going to take the medium. Actually, I'm not going to do the dark. Normally, I would do the dark next, right? But I'm going to do the medium because there's not much space to actually have three colors. So I'm just going to do two colors, just like right here on the inside, just along the edge of that heart just a little. Now, am I breaking a rule? I don't know. I made this rule up myself. But I don't have enough space to do three colors, so I'm just doing the mid-tone here, and then I'm going to come back with my light. Do you see it on the website, Ken? I'm searching. I'm searching July, right? Will that be a good? Well, are you searching disabled products? Okay, so there we have our yellow. Now I get to decide what to do in the inside. And of course, you know I'm picking pink. Okay, so I'm gonna find a good pink that I like. Ooh, I love this one. This one's the magenta blend. So I'm gonna write down magenta blend. And now I'm gonna color this one. Now, again, I'm gonna go to the light and I'm gonna color this fully, completely. 
fully complete. Exclusive July calendar? Yeah. Is there a quantity on it? Yes. Okay, go ahead and enable it. The exclusive July calendar will be on the website in about 30 seconds. So there's my light. I'm going to go to my dark. And I'm going to do it this time. On this one, I did dark in the center. I'm going to do dark on the outsides. So I'm going to go dark. Just outline it, just like that. Is it live, babe? I'm going to check. Okay. Yeah, they literally got it in today. Okay, so there's the dark. Now, remember, look, ooh, edges. We don't want edges. We don't want edges. Now I'm going to go over in the medium, the mid, and I'm going to color that out. This is down towards the middle of the page. Okay, it's down towards the middle of the page on the home page, the July exclusive calendar if you needed that which we all do because we need to do our July calendars. Okay, so I'm coloring over those edges, coloring over those edges with the mid. Okay. Now I'm gonna go over in the light. So I'm gonna grab the light and now I'm gonna go over all of it. And I'm gonna get rid of all of those edges. Now, if you still see an edge, you just go over it with more ink. Okay, if you see an edge, you still go over it with more ink. The light is kind of like the blender tool too, okay? Look at that, look at that, you guys. Let me hold that up. Look at that. Isn't that amazing? Look at the shading. Look how easy that was. Look at how easy that is. They are so much fun. Oh, something Christine says is I have other Spectrum Noir markers and they're not necessarily true to the cap colors. Yes, that is totally true on all of them. Anytime you have two different mediums, go switch to camera. Anytime you have two different mediums, for example, this is a plastic medium and this, the inside is an ink medium, right? There's, it's impossible to match perfectly. It's impossible because this is a different, this is a different manufacturing process than the actual ink itself is a different manufacturing process. So when they do it, they match it as close as they can. But something they recommend you do, and you can do this, is what people do is they take their markers, and for example, you could start with your light in, uh, let's see, if, oh, let, let me move it over here so I have room. Okay, whoops, can you, um, overhead? So what you're gonna do is to, you can make your own color chart. This is the light, so I'm gonna do the light. I'm gonna do it all over, I'm gonna do a whole bunch. And you could pick a shape, you could pick a heart to do, you could pick a stamped image, but you'll want to make your own color chart. Okay, I haven't done this yet, but so there's my light. Then I'm going to go over on the dark and I'm going to color the dark. And then I'm going to go over the medium and I'm going to color the medium. like this get rid of that edge and then I'm going to go back to my light and finish it up is this an item we'll be restocking if we do sell out? yes we will be restocking but not necessarily at the flash sale price right okay now you can make this your color chart and you can say this is the magenta blend and it is number one, two, and three. One, two, three. And look, you can see, you don't see any edges, but there's my three colors. So now you can make your own color chart because, I mean, look, that pretty much matches, but again, wait, is this the three? Yeah, this is the three. So look how well that matches. Yeah, it matches, but because it's on plastic, it's gonna have a different tone to it. It's gonna have a different, it, this is shiny, this is not. You know what I mean? So that's why on Pantone books, they have coded versus uncoded versus um, CMYK versus RGB. There's a lot of issues with all of that. Yeah. So that is how you can do all your colors if you want to, or pick a heart or pick a stamp so you have edges if you want to. But that is, actually I did one here. That's funny. I already had one of those. But that's how you do the coloring. Now, I'm going to show you a couple sneak peeks. Did you want to say something? Do you me? want to read any of those comments about oh. the color charts and stuff? I don't know if they're um, accurate or if you know uh, on the Facebook side. Uh, Tiffany has a color chart for the Get Organized Challenge to help the catalog the colors. Perfect, Tina. Thank you. I didn't know that. Um, also, Crafters Companion has a color chart on their website you can use. Fantastic. 
Fantastic. Now, just keep in mind though, if you print those out, the alcohol markers might uh, bleed with your ink. Okay, the alcohol markers might bleed with your ink from your from your printer, depending on if you have a toner printer or an inkjet printer or what. So you can make your own. Print out one of those so it'll give you an example of what it to look like, what it can look like, and then make your own using their ink so you know it's not going to bleed. Just a tip. Just a tip. Um, the July calendar is on the website. The July exclusive calendar is on the website. Uh, let's see. Colors look different on different papers too. Absolutely, Mary. So for example, um, if you wanted to match, just for fun, if you wanted to match the, all the colors on all of these items, one, two, three. Oops, they can't above, see. On. Above. Oops, above. If you wanted the colors to match here, here, and here, that's impossible because you have three different, you have three different, um, platforms here. You have this kind of plastic, you have this kind of plastic, and you have this kind of, like, I don't know what this is made out of, resin or something. It will be very, very close. Don't get me wrong. It's going to always be very, very close, but because you're using different materials, it's never going to be an exact match. You can't exact match colors on different um, backgrounds, on different things like that. So that's just that. Okay. Um, let me show you some of the stamp sneak peeks. And Ken said I did have to make a card, so I'm going to um, use some of these... Um, flowers to make a card, but I wanted to show you some other samples overhead. I wanted to show some other samples that I have colored just to give you some more ideas. So here's my cute little girl. There we go. Here's my cute little girl that I've been design. I've been doing. I did on her purple dress. I did dark on the outside, inside lighter. Remember, you get to decide where the darker shades are. On her hair, I did the sh darker on the outside. On her blonde hair, because I wanted to look more like hair, I left some of the color edges. You can kind of see some of the edges. Let me pull it up. You can kind of see some of the edges because I wanted to, it to look more like hair. Okay, so that's, the, that's that one. Uh, oh, and this is on their paper, by the way, their cardstock. But see how I stamped, oh, hang on, sorry. See how I stamped a whole bunch on that one sheet? Because then I can just color like crazy, right? I colored two at the same time. This one's not finished, but I, I wanted to color a whole bunch because what if I couldn't decide if I wanted blonde or brunette? Then I can color more, right? Um, that's a sneak peek, so I'll show you that one last. Here's a sheet that I literally just stamped a whole bunch on, and I'm gonna color next, but I, I just stamped a whole bunch so I could get ready to color him, and then I can color different ones to see how fun it's gonna be in different colors. Um, sneak peek on that one, sneak peek on this one. Oh, the rest are sneak peeks. Are you ready for this? Um, these are coming, I believe, in July. They're coming in July. Ready for this? Um, a giraffe has been well requested, hugely requested. So here's a cute little giraffe in three different color tones. And he's going to come with overalls. So there's his cute little overalls and a little shirt. I don't know if he comes with a shirt or not, but this is stamped on there. So there's his little shirt, I think. And so there is my cute little giraffe. And then, what you looking at, babe? Nothing. Then there is Baby Miller. There is Baby Miller because Baby Miller has crazy hair sometimes. So he, this is Baby Miller. And Baby Miller has clothes as well. Now, the clothes are going to match the giraffe and Baby Miller. They're going to wear the same clothes. Baby Miller kind of looks like Bart Simpson. <laughs> you're sleeping on the a couch a little bit tonight. right <laughs> no you're sleeping on the couch tonight oh. also an option coming soon are little outfits for them to wear and they have not been stamped yet i mean they have not been colored yet but these are coming um eventually in july i believe i haven't done the video for them yet but i had to color because i was going crazy now look how cute baby miller is next to steffi isn't he cute so he's baby miller and that's the steffi doll so the mommy or the grandma, I guess, and then baby Miller. Now, is there going to be a baby Liam? Well, a hello, of course. Big baby. Yes. How well do they <laughs> highlight on things die cut out of colored paper? Um, you can try, Kim. I have not had a chance to play with them on um, cardstock, but they're still going to color. They're absolutely going to color. In fact, let's just pull one out really quick. Let's do a yellow just for fun. 
and let's just grab regular cardstock because you know we're all going to learn together on a lot of this. Now again, don't forget you want to have cardstock below you that's not colored. So I mean, that's just underneath. So here's some just yellow. Um, this is sunshine. And let's grab an orange and let's see. Let's grab a pretty orange. Let's say I cut this out, I cut a flower out or something like that. So I'm going to, let's just do a color chart color. So there's my light, right? Then I'm going to do dark. It's looking pretty good though, isn't it? Dark. And then I'm gonna go with my mid-tone over that. Blend that edge. Wow, you guys, look at this. Look at this. Look at this. This is on regular cardstock. And then I'm gonna go with my light and I'm gonna go over all of it again. Get rid of all the edges, all the color edges. Look at that. Well, if I do say so myself, that is pretty awesome. Look at that. So now, if I wanted to do some shading on other colors, I absolutely positively could. Look at that. Blended beautifully. Kim, great question. Great question. I love it. Looks awesome. Um, let's see. I'm looking at uh, July calendars are on the site now. Yes. Um, lots of sneak peeks there, Gloria, huh? Lots of sneak peeks. Okay, so Kenny said I had to finish a card and we're stuck on um, the overhead, but Kenny's working on other cameras. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to die cut these really quick. And I am going to make a quick card because that's kind of what we do here, right? And I'm just really excited. I hope you guys, you know, please use your club points. Please use your gifts, your anniversary gift certificates. That's all free money, don't forget. You get a lot of free money for being club members. So please feel free to use all of that. Your club points, your anniversary gift certificates. If I were you, I'd always save those for big items like this. Well, now you have a chance to use them, am I right? Okay, so I'm gonna use these, and this one I'm gonna die cut just this one because I want this to be somewhere special on my card. So I'm gonna lay those down, and I'm gonna die cut these really quick. So I'm gonna take them to my die cut machine, and I'm gonna run them through. And I'm gonna grab a cutting pad, and we're gonna run these through. Now, you guys, I will be honest, Crafter's Companion has spent so much money getting these markers perfect. And I honestly feel like they've done an absolutely positively amazing job. So it's always fun to be able to, you know, kind of like promote your competitors. Um, but you know what, in the crafting world, we're not really competitors, you know what I mean? It, we're more friends than anything. So, okay, so what I'm doing is I just took those little guys off. I had half a card already made. So I have my little flip it. Here's a flip it that says always love. And I'm going to add this cute little flower right here. So we're just going to get some adhesive on there. Kenny still... Wait, this up. would be a good idea. What? Uh, will you include a black and white version of the images for use to color in the paper pad? So like how you mm -hmm. stamped ahead of time that they can just color them, I think, but in your paper pad. Oh, oh, on our, on our paper pads. Um, that's a very good question. I don't think we would because I don't know how the markers would look on those pads and um, it would be hard to match the colors, every, I mean the, the items everybody wants and a lot of people really like those colors but it's a good idea. I mean maybe we could do one or two just for fun um, to see if people like that. Maybe we could do a coloring book. A coloring book? Yeah, that's kind of what that would be, right? Yeah. A coloring book? A whole bunch of different yeah. past club sets or something like that. And then I'm going to add this flower, just like that. Look at that. And then I'm going to add the center. Fastest card ever. Look at this. Look at this. Look at this. So there's my flower. Dun, 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 dun. Now, it needs ribbon. So I'm going to grab some ribbon. Fastest card ever. Dun, 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 dun. Are there any other questions, Kenny, that you're seeing? Yeah, well, I have a couple questions. Well, a couple things. If everybody could like, we have oh, a lot yes. of viewers, but not very many likes or shares or thumbs up. If you could do that, we would appreciate it. Someone had a question about Spellbinders machines on the shipping time. 
Some of the time they're really fast and some of the time they're not so fast. So patients usually on those, it just depends I think on how busy they are on their it, And that's coming straight from a spillbinder. So that, that yeah. once we send them the order, there's nothing we can do. Yeah, we don't ship those directly ourselves. Uh, let's see what else. Oh, the card kits were shipped on Tuesday, which was a day early. Very good, but I hear a lot of people didn't get a notification that it shipped. Oh, that's not good. So maybe a computer problem or glitch or... Check your spam folders. Check your spam folder, but I haven't heard this many people in the past say they didn't receive an email notification. Wow. So something happened there, and we'll try to get that fixed for next month. I don't know if there's a way to... Send them out again or Yeah, something. we're going to... I'm asking oh, if that's possible. Yeah. Cool. But um, that was kind of different. But it was a day early, so it's probably arriving to a lot of people already. Yeah. That's good, right? Yes, that's very good. Anything else, babe? I, there is one other thing, but give me a second. I have to look at my notes. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> um, so there's my finished card. Dun, 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 dun. Always love. Isn't that cute? But look how gorgeous that is. Totally colored. Oh, a lot of people are saying they did get a notification. Oh, good. Uh, oh, the other thing I was thinking about, um, oh, I forgot. Oh, all the Tiffany bags. I know a lot of you guys are asking about them when we're going to get them. We just have no idea on the Tiffany bags. They get shipped from overseas, and some of them are stuck at ports, and oh, some of them are on the ocean. Our July calendar was stuck <laughs> in the port for like three or four yeah. weeks. Just in the port. Well, like, like... 50 miles away from us. Yeah. So if you see a bag you can use now that you like, I would just get that bag. And yes. Because we just have no idea when the next round of yes, no, bags are true. coming back that's in, true. unfortunately. I think that's it. Yeah. Okay. Awesome. Okay. My friends, check these markers out. I love them. I'm excited about them. Um, the rotating design board is awesome. Usually the clip goes up here, but the rotating board is awesome. You might already have one on your machine. You can use the same one. Just go back and forth if you want to, but they're really handy dandy because then you can just move it around. You don't have to worry about anything. Um, I love them. Uh, Monday, no makeup Monday. Make sure you s tune in for that. Um, let's see. Jeffrey says, I received notification and the packet arrived today. Good. Got mine today, Don said. Awesome. Arriving today in Maryland. Kim, that's a miracle. Wow. That must be FedEx. That can't be UPS. I mean, Unless they're local, yeah. Close. Where in Maryland. Oh, Maryland, yeah. FedEx. Yeah, that's yeah, got to be FedEx. FedEx. That's awesome. You guys. You might want to talk about the club a little bit for anybody who's oh, not. Oh, those of you that don't know, don't know who we are, don't know what we do or anything like that, my name is Stephanie Bernard, along with my husband who's off camera. We own a company called The Stamps of Life. We have three different clubs. We have a stamp club, a diehard club, and a kit club. Everyone's talking about shipping notifications for the kit club. That's shipped in charge. It's charged on the 15th and ships the next business day. This time we actually got it out on the 15th, which was kind of a surprise. But um, it always goes the next business day. And that's a box of goodies sent to you in the mail each day, each month. Um, the stamp club is an automatic shipment. Let me grab mine. Every month you get a brand new stamp set sent to you automatically. You want to do camera two? Mm -hmm. This is our monthly one this month. It was cookies to stamp. So cute. Now, a lot of people love stamps, but they want the dice to match. That would be actually called our Die Hard Club. It's the same stamps as the Stamp Club and the dies that match. And that is only $24.90 a month, including shipping. And then as a club member, you get a 15% discount on our website off of everything, including these brand new markers. Even though they're on flash sale, you're also going to get your club discount on them as well. So double discounts. Now, if you're in the Die Hard Club, and the big deal for this year is the Die Hard Club, because every month for the rest of the year, July, August, September, October, November, December, six months, you're going to get two additional dies for free in your kit. So that means you're going to get for the rest of the year 12 free dies. Every Die Hard Club member, if you're in the club now or if you join today, you're going to get a free die set, at two actually, for every month the rest of the year. Why? Just because we want to say thank you for being a Die Hard Club member. So if you're in the Stamp Club, you've got to upgrade to the Die Hard Club to get those free dice for the rest of the year. But we just thought it'd be a special way to just say thank you. And that's the way we're going to do it for our club members this year. So I want to, oh, Dawn says I got my very first Die Hard Club 
um, shipment and all her freebies. Oh, yes. You're right, Dawn. You're so happy and excited. Awesome. Because, awesome, awesome. Because if you join the club, you also get sign-on bonus goodies. You get a free stamp set and a free die set just for being a new club member. I know. We try to spoil you as much as we possibly can. So, okay, my friends, I just want to say thank you so much. Thank you so much for your love, your support, and your prayers. They mean the world to us, and we wanted to show you that way, and that's why we wanted to show you that, and that's why we're giving you those freebies for the Die Hard Club. Um, they cost us money. <laughs> They're not free to us, but we want you to know how much we appreciate you, and the best way we can do that is by giving you free stuff. So that's why we do it, and the heavy discounts that we give you as well. But thank you so much. Have a lovely day. Have a wonderful weekend. Happy Father's Day to all the fathers out there, and I will see you all Monday, approximately 10 a.m. Pacific time for a No Makeup Monday. Don't forget the events calendar on our website. Check that every once in a while. Make sure that you're always up to date on everything that's happening around this place. Okay? Thank you so much, and I will see you again soon. Bye-bye.